Our design concept is a new local road that connects this street to a road across the motorway that runs south and then east and then we're going to turn and go to the northeast and hit a tunnel. Let's take a look at what our roads look like in InfraWorks. As we zoom in you can see that this is an asphalt road that has a concrete curb with a grass shoulder. The way an object looks in InfraWorks is controlled by its style. Styles can be found in the style palette and if we go to the road tab of our style palette you can see all of the road styles that we have. Applying a style to an object is as simple as picking it up, clicking it, and dragging it onto that object. You can see that adding this gravel style to my roadway produces a rather undesirable result, but it has the intended effect. I'm going to change this back to our local street style just by dragging that one on top of it. And for our project, I want to create a new style. I want it to look similar to our local street, uh, but not exact. So the easiest way to do this is to make a copy of that style into your current catalog. And I'm going to name this style Proposed Local Street. Once I have it copied and renamed, I can select it and then hit the pencil to edit it. In the style editor, you need to keep in mind that you're only editing one side of a style at a time. This is going to be the right group. To control the left, you're going to change the number of driving lanes. So what we have are three objects in our right group. We have a roadway, a curb, and a shoulder. And now for this, I think I want to get rid of the shoulder. So I'm going to select it and then hit the red X. And you'll see that deletes it. And to make sure this is proposed, I want to add a, a red line on the outside of my curb. Now you'll see that it adds the object that you're wanting to put in there above the one you had selected. So I simply select the blank and hit the down arrow. Now uh, I'm going to give this a name. I think I'm going to call it Proposed Indicator. Uh, it really means nothing except to me. Uh, and what's, what that's going to do is bring up uh, an object once I give it a width here. Uh, I'm going to give it a width of I think uh, 0.2 meters. And it's going to apply a color of red to that. And that's just the default. Uh, if I wanted to make it look like grass or something like that, I would set the top surface category um, just so it would look a little bit different. Um, now, now that I have uh, this created, I have a style that we can use for the rest of our design project. We'll apply it to the roads that we're going to create in the next lesson.